I went through recruitment in 2019, so that was pre-COVID when everything I would say was, you know, how they'd operate under normal circumstances. I would say the first thing that I noticed was just how white it was. Um, that definitely was like very obvious. Every single house I went to, door after door, like they would swing open and out popped a million people and no one really looked like me. So what I found myself doing was just like looking through the houses and looking for like spots of color, like for people who I could identify with or people who just were different. And those were often the houses that I was most drawn towards. I would say that I had an all right recruitment experience. There was this incident, which honestly could have been like red flag number one for me, um, a girl in my Pai Kai group, you know, as we're going through, she came up to me and I was talking about how I kept getting back the houses that I liked and she was like, well, you know, they're only asking you back because you're black, right? And I was like, oh, why would they do that? And she's like, well, they need like diversity points they need to be accredited all these things that she was telling me I was super confused and um, I went to my Pai Kai's that day and I told them that I wanted to drop recruitment I was like this doesn't make sense and they talked to like their leadership and they were like just give us the name of the girl and we'll like get her dropped from recruitment or whatever and it, I was just like well are you gonna explain to me like what's no, there was nothing like that. It was just like, oh, that's sorry that happened. If you like tell us who it is, we'll drop her. But there's really nothing else that we can do but like sit here while you like sob because I was really emotional about it. But that was pretty much my recruitment experience. I rushed in summer 2020, so like all the George Floyd stuff had just happened. Um, and then Ahmaud Arbery. Everyone was protesting that summer. So same thing, no one looked like me, but everything was on Zoom, so it wasn't like as in my face. It was just like, oh, no one on Zoom looks like me, but still no one looked like me. I just remember the videos that the houses would show us since we couldn't go in person were, I was looking for like aspects of inclusion and things like that because I knew it was a super white space. And so there was this house um, that showed a bunch of clips of their girls protesting at Black Lives Matter protests and I was like oh this is amazing like I kept ranking them number one kept ranking them number one they asked me back I asked them back um, and then eventually they dropped me and I was really bummed I was like oh they're so like inclusive like this is I wanted this house um, and like obviously I'm not in it now but there's like one black girl in there so it was just they put up a show basically and it looks really good on like a five minute video but it's not what they say because you know, that's just not how it is in Greek life in PHA. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember the feeling. It was a sense of relief. You, you don't. I didn't even realize that I was tense until I felt relieved. So it's like looking through and looking for those spots of color. Like I said, those women who just looked like me. When I would see someone, it was, I could relax more, you know? And it was instantly like, I wanna talk to her. <laughs> like, and so I, I wonder if like it's safe here. I wonder um, if this is a place where I can be myself, if this is a place where I'll be accepted. And you don't really realize until you feel that relief that you've been walking around feeling so tense. 